Hey guys, uh, today is June 6th. Today's another Hopper Hot Take for you. As we um, wrap up uh, CPR and AED Awareness Week, I wanted to take just a moment. You often hear me talk about sudden cardiac arrest as it relates to athletics, being an athletic trainer. You know, that's kind of where I live typically, right? And we know that sudden cardiac arrest happens in athletics. Um, but the stats also show that sudden cardiac arrest happens in schools, in American schools, once every three days. So it also happens right here in the classroom. So here I am today, I'm in a classroom, um, you know, and again, we talk about athletics and we talk about, um, you know, on the field, in the football field, on the gym, whatever the case might be, right? When somebody's running around and all of a sudden they hit the ground. Um, but let's talk about, for a moment about in the classroom, because like I said, it does happen here as well, okay? Do you know what to do as a teacher? Do you know what to do if one of your students uh, goes down in the classroom and suffers sudden cardiac arrest? As a, as a parent, does your kid know what to do if the teacher goes down in the classroom? You know, the teacher's up here teaching and all of a sudden collapses. What do the students do, all right? So um, let's talk about that for a minute. Um, you know, again, we talk about call, shock care, right? Um, call for help, get help. So if you're in the classroom and somebody goes down, send somebody next door to get the teacher from next door, okay? Get more hands, go to the phone, okay? You can dial 911 from the phone, you can, uh, you can call help, you know, call the, the main office, whatever that might be, to get help coming, right? Again, get the teacher from next door and start CPR. Start CPR as soon as you possibly can and send somebody for the AED. You do know where the nearest AED is, right? To your classroom, okay? Um, so again, you know, and I have little Annie here. So I have our, I have a little mannequin, all right? Um, real simple, again, person collapses, get over here, hands together, right in the middle of the chest and we're just pushing, okay? 100 beats a minute or just pushing, all right? Um, till the AED arrives, get the AED on, let the AED do its thing, because that's what it does, all right? Um, I didn't bring an AED in here with me today, I didn't bring a training unit, but get started, all right? Faster we can start CPR, the faster we can get an AED applied, the better chance of survival. So, um, like I said, I wanted to finish the uh, week uh, June 1st, June 6th, um, CPR, AED Awareness Week, talking about CPR right here in the classroom because we know that it can happen in schools as well. Um, so if you're a student, take the time to learn CPR. You never know when your teacher goes down. If you're a teacher, take the time to learn CPR, okay? If you're a parent, ask the administration, are our teachers trained in CPR? Do they know where the AED is? Do we have AEDs close to the classrooms? Those are all questions to ask, okay? Uh, I've been seeing a lot on social media this year, which is fantastic. Project Adam, um, schools have been being named Project Adam Heart Safe Schools. Uh, I believe that's the title. Um, they are running drills in the school day, okay? After school with the teachers, with administration, with the uh, school resource officer, on and on and on. Practice, 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 okay? Um, I always say CPR skills are easy to learn. They're not so easy to execute, all right? Um, and again, quote, and I've heard this from multiple people, uh, remember this is their emergency, not your emergency, okay? And, and what I mean by that is take the time, calm, and go. Because if I, if I just panic, mistakes happen, okay? But we have to try to calm ourselves down and understand what we're supposed to do. Some of that, again, comes with practice, 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 practice. So practice skills, mannequin like this, okay? Practice skills, um, we love our QCPR mannequins that give us live feedback, all right? Um, rehearse, okay? Do it in different classrooms, do it in the gym, do it on the football field, do it wherever you can do it, all right? Um, and go through the scenario. So, um, Again, we know CPR happens once every three days in American schools. Uh, typically, we need to be prepared for this, all right? So uh, that is today's Hopper Hot Take. Take the time, learn CPR, know where the AED is, 
and know what to do in an emergency. You guys have a great day.